Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today, well, tonight, this is Wednesday night, I would like to swatch out the new set of the Tri-Blend Spectrum Noir markers. I did a previous video where I swatched out all 24 uh, markers that came in the initial set. And in case you have not seen that video, I will link them down below. The tri-tones, or the tri-blends, I should say, are three markers in one. And you have a light tone. Let me zoom you in a little bit. You have a light tone, a mid-tone, and a dark tone. And the reason they came out with this is because you typically have to have a light, a middle, and darker tone to do a good blend. So they took some of the colors out of their um, big Spectrum Noir uh, color set from their regular markers, and they put them all into one pen. So... I did swatch these out. Now, I did mention in that particular video that um, not only did I receive these, this is from um, HSN. I don't know at this time if they're available anywhere else, um, but I did sign up for the auto ship uh, option. And what the auto ship option was uh, four times a year, I will get an additional six set that is going to enhance or be in addition to the initial 24. And with getting three colors in each marker, there are actually 18 colors each time you get an auto shipment. All right, so I created a, another swatch tart chart, tart, just to swatch out this particular set. And let me get a sheet of cardstock back behind here so I don't swatch on my desk. <laughs> All right, I did open this package already and I will show you why <laughs> I did leave one marker in its original package. Um, without unwrapping it and I will show you why I got these out off camera because otherwise it would have taken me forever to do this on camera. Each one of these markers comes individually wrapped. So you can imagine when I got that initial set, um, it took me a long time to open. So this particular one comes with the wrapper on yet. I left it on here so you could see. Let me bring it up. It's real hard to tell that it's on there because it is a clear wrapper. But on the one side, it is kind of perforated along. And it's kind of hard to see this with the black markers down below. It is kind of perforated along this edge. So you know that that is the edge that you're supposed to try to pull down and uh, it should should pull down like that that made it look nice and easy didn't it <laughs> but yes each one has its own individual wrapper which is nice you know that they're not drying out during shipment or while they're sitting on the shelves so why don't we go ahead and swatch these particular markers out. I do plan on doing a uh, color and chat then with these uh, tritones and I want to see how they actually blend. So the first one that we're going to do is a and again, this is going to be hard for you to see because I'm recording this at night. This is a burnt orange blend. And again, I'm going to zoom you in here so you can see the chart. Okay. Now, um, we have the light, the mid-tone, and the dark all on one in one marker so when you start with the light 
that is at one end. Makes sense, right? So far, so good. And this is not my good copy, so I'm not going to be too overly concerned with coloring this real nice and neat. I don't have this printed out on my heavy cardstock paper. Um, then we have the mid-tone. This is a pretty color. I like this. So just a little bit darker than the first color to blend in together. Now to get to the dark, you flip the marker around and there is your dark tone. Quite a bit darker than the first two. And so, it'll be interesting to see how those three blend together. I can see the first two, but yeah, that last one's pretty dark. Okay, then I'm going to go over here and do, this one is gold yellow. And we have, let's see. And again, I did mention in the first video, you can look at the rings because you'll see this is the lightest ring, then your mid-tone ring and your darkest ring. So we'll start with the light. And this is GY2. These were B01, B02, and B04 for burnt orange. And then gold yellow is GY2. Midtone is GY3. And I can see where these would blend nicely together. And finally, the dark is GY5. And again, the dark color is quite a bit darker. So again, it'll be interesting to see how these blend. Okay, next one is magenta. Magenta blend. Okay, and we have the light color. Oh, that looks like a bubblegum color and so. Pretty, I like that. MG2 midtone. Very close to the first color. Not a whole lot of difference. So I'm hoping the pattern is not going to continue and have this one real dark. This is MG3. Oh no, this will be a nice blend. Wish there was a little bit bigger of a difference between the first two, but we will see when we actually color a picture with them then. Then we are going to go on to the aqua blend. Again, we will start with the light AB1. I'm sorry, I have this paper turned at an angle. It's hard for me to color straight on. So that is the lightest color, our mid-tone, which is AB2. Oh yes, I can see these two blending. And I did find um, another video um, when I did the first video, I had stated that these are not refillable. There is now, however, a video out there that states that they are. So, I don't know. Oh, this is a pretty um, tritone. I can see these blending really pretty together. Isn't that pretty? Love that. Then we have... 
our pink violet and start with the lightest color so this is going to be a pretty short video because we don't have a lot of swatching out i was going to do the color and chat right away but i kind of thought that was it's it would be a little bit too much for one video because not only do i plan on doing a color and chat i have three different relatively high quality marker papers that I want to also compare with these when we do that color and chat. So I am going to do all that in a separate video. Oh, pretty color. I like definitely a pink violet. Gorgeous colors. Let's see what the dark looks like oh yeah <laughs> you know me and my purples pretty i love this combo too gorgeous finally we have alpine green so AG1 being our lightest, very pretty green. You can see this for leaves and grasses. I love that color. Let's see what it is going to blend with. Here is AG3. Oh, yeah. I don't believe actually this auto shipment option is even available anymore, unfortunately. And then AG5, the darkest. Oh, this is another really pretty blend. Do like it. Wow, that is pretty, isn't it? I like these new colors that I got. I think they are beautiful. Like I said, I think the burnt orange and the gold yellow, the dark color is a little bit dark, but we'll have to see. We'll see how they blend together. I think these four... Um, will be beautiful blends. Maybe the Alpine Green is a little bit dark, but I think that's still going to be a really good blend. This Aqua Blend is gorgeous, as well as the Magenta and that Pink Violet. So, again, just a real quick video. I just wanted to come on, do this quick swatch of the new... Uh, Spectrum Noir, Spectrum Noir Tritone markers. I am going to incorporate these new colors into this color chart. These are actually shades of colors that are already available from the first um, initial. Whoops, sorry. The um, initial set, and so each additional shipment that I receive are going to be building off this initial um, bigger set that I received. So these are darker versions of this. So I will be putting them in order in the big chart and re-swatching these out. <laughs> so each time I get a new shipment of six, I will be redoing these because I'm not sure what colors I'm going to be getting in the future. And I like swatching anyhow, especially with markers. They go pretty fast. So, all right. I guess that is all I wanted to show you today. And I will be putting these in my uh, Spectrum Noir case that I had again shown in the previous video. Um, you can purchase this case off of the HSN website and close your ears. What they did in here was they made room for the initial 24 set 
but then they did also leave room for the um, eventually um, future 24 markers too. And then you have this nice pouch in the back to put whatever you want back in here. So that is it. I will be getting my new markers in this case in the appropriate order. <laughs> so again, I hope you liked this short little video swatching out my new set of the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend Markers. And if you did so, give me that thumbs up. I hope everybody's having a terrific week and happy coloring.